Imagine lying in water without even trying to swim and you just float. That's exactly what happens in Dead Sea. Let's try to understand the science behind it. Normally, when you get into a swimming pool, your body sinks in because your weight pulls you down. Whether you float depends on a rule called Archimedes principle. That is, an object will float if the water it pushes away or the displacement weighs more than the object itself. But Dead Sea is very special. In Dead Sea, we all float. Why? Because Dead Sea is 10 times more saltier than normal sea water. This huge amount of dissolved salt in Dead Sea makes the water much denser, which means heavier per unit volume. The density of Dead Sea water is approximately 1.24 kg per liter compared to fresh water, which is about 1 kg per liter. And our human body has a density of 1.01 kg per liter. So when we lie in Dead Sea, our body pushes aside or displaces salty water, which is heavier than our own weight. The result, the water pushes us back with a stronger force than the gravity pulls us down. That's why we float so effortlessly even if we do not know swimming. Another fun fact is that Dead Sea is not a sea. It's actually a lake which is bordered by Jordan and Israel. The high saltiness of Dead Sea is because the water flows in it but it does not flow out. Over thousands of years, salts have accumulated. So the reason you float in Dead Sea is simple science. Greater salt means greater density. Greater density means stronger upward push and effortless floating. Now you might be thinking, sir, can this happen in any other salty lakes? The answer is yes. Like Lake Asal in Djibouti or the Great Salt Lake in US where you can float very easily for the same reason. So next time when you see someone lying in Dead Sea reading a newspaper, remember it's not magic, it's just density at work.